One important thing in making real analysis is being able to select the material properties that you want. We skipped over that in the initial video, so I wanted to go back and show you how to do that now. So there's the Engineering Data tab, and we can double click on that, which you can also see activates a tab up here. We can go back to Project by clicking on this. Engineering data, we see at the top here has a material. And I, when I clicked on structural steel, I see all the properties that are there. And these are quite extensive, though many aren't needed for, for some analyses. Um, and, and you can see there's also um, additional data, such as the temperature is taken at. If I want to add a new material, I can just come in here and stick, select, for example, aluminum 6061. And type G6 and I could describe this you know, basic elastic properties um, and there's an opportunity to link to other sources but many times you're going to want to import those and so what you're going to do is you select this and you're going to select the properties you want to put in here. So for example, if I want to be able to do weight, I need to get density. So I'll grab that and I'll drop it down here. And now it opens up a density table. And so I need to check my units, but I see I have kilograms per meters cubed. So my density would be called 2700. All right. So now I have a density value. And you can see that I could make this a function of temperature if I want it. Um, I, if I want to do basic um, isotropic elasticity, I can select that model, I can drop it down here, and it's going to add um, a few more properties. So and I can choose whether which pair of, of elastic parameters I want to give. So here I've got Young's modulus. So we'll use a value of 70 e to the ninth, or 70 gigapascals, and a Poisson's ratio we use 0.34 and now I've, I've defined these basic properties. If I um, wanted to be able to study, for example, creep or um, life values for strength, I could define a curve in here that would be used and I could come back in and edit these other properties as needed. But again, the basic concept is I add the material, I pull in the model that I want, so drop it in down here and then enter those parameters and just pay attention to the units that you use and then you'll be off and running. Now the second part of this, once you've created the materials, is you need to assign them to particular components. So now we're in ANSYS Mechanical and if I click on my Materials tab on the left, I can see that now I have an aluminum 6061, oh, extra zero in there. Um, and I can come up here and I see my geometries. And if I collect on an individual component, I scroll down at the bottom and I see I have a material assignment and then structural steel. And all I need to do to change that is to come down and select a different material. There's also the options to edit or import, or I can create a new material right there. But I can just go ahead and select that. And, and I could do that for any of the materials that I want so that I could have uh, the different uh, assignments. Now you can create a new material and you can assign it to a particular component. So you should be able to uh, analyze the materials of your choice at this point.